We all remember Kobe for having the greatest work ethic in basketball and his killer mentality on the court, with a lot of memorable plays and iconic plays during his time playing. In his career, he played 1,346 regular season games and 220 playoff games. But what if I told you Kobe Bryant showed up late to one of his games? This is the game where Kobe Bryant showed up late and still hit the game winner. On December 19, 2003, the Lakers were facing off against the Denver Nuggets with the rookie Carmelo Anthony. With this being the first season the Lakers super team was assembled with four Hall of Famers in Gary Payton, Karl Malone, Kobe Bryant, and Shaq. Following this game, Kobe Bryant was on a tear scoring the basketball, where he would average 40 points or more nine times in a row from February 2nd, 2003 to February 23rd. Almost an entire month of Kobe dropping 40 points every game. Only two other players were able to do what Kobe did as far as most 40 point games in a row, Will Chamberlain and Michael Jordan, and would have another 40 point game streak 10 times that same year when he was on the Warriors from November 9th to November 25th. Also, a young Michael Jordan also had a nine game streak where he was scoring 40 points a game from November 28th, 1986 to December 12th, 1986. Despite all the success Kobe was having in his young career, it wasn't the same off the court. In the summer of 2003, Kobe Bryant was arrested in Edwards, Colorado after being accused of sexual assault allegations which were eventually dropped with no clear evidence. Although Kobe Bryant was innocent of the allegations, Denver Nuggets fans held a strong hostility towards Kobe Bryant the next season every time he played in the Pepsi Arena. Fans would boo and chant guilty in relation to Kobe being guilty of the sexual assault allegations. In the Friday night game versus the Nuggets, Kobe didn't arrive at the Staples Center until there was 4 minutes left in the first quarter as he was working with his legal team for an appearance in the Colorado courtroom. He would end up riding a stationary bike to get his body warm and would get immediately subbed into the game after a timeout. As Kobe entered the game, he made an immediate impact starting the game off with a nice behind the back diamond pass for his first assist of the game in the second quarter. By halftime, the Lakers had a 57-47 lead. However, in the second half, the Nuggets made a huge run before the end of the game as they cut a double digit deficit to 4 points. From there, both teams would go back and forth until Shaq's missed free throw and a Gary Payton missed layup would allow the Nuggets to tie the game at 99. With the ball in Kobe's hand and a chance to win the game, he receives the ball from Devin George and he drives to his left. He then used a pump fake to get his defender off him, gathers himself, and knocks down the buzzer beater. The Lakers would win the game 101-99 and Kobe would knock down his fifth and final basket of the night. At the time, that game would be Kobe's first time coming off the bench and not in the starting lineup for the first time since the 1999 season. He would finish the game with 13 points, 5 assists, and 3 rebounds along with a game winner right off of light with no pre-game warm-up. 17 years later, Carmelo Anthony says in an interview on Instagram Live that that was one of the best performances he ever saw someone play against them, saying this. Here's a question I've always wanted to ask you, I'm glad I remembered. What's the single best game you saw somebody else do on the opposite team in the history of your, in your career? Playing like on the court at the same time? Yep, you at the same time. Like at the end of the game, you were like, wow, he put in work tonight. I can't believe no. what he just did. It's actually two, because I'll talk What's about- What's up, Dustin I, Bingham? Hello, big actually, shout out. I, I, because I'll talk about this a lot. Um, one of them was, was Kobe. And rest, rest in peace to my brother. Uh, he came and we played in Denver. He came in at halftime. Halftime. Off the plane. In Denver. He's with the Lakers. We played we playing yeah. in Denver. He came in. This is like 04. He came in off the plane at halftime. I don't get it. He wasn't there at the beginning of the game? No, he wasn't there. But I don't want to talk about why he wasn't there. <laughs> okay, go. Keep going. Everybody, I mean, it, that, that's there. Go ahead, it's out there. Go ahead, go ahead. But, he came in at he came in at halftime with the Laker uniform already on. Right, come in. It's right after halftime and it's a timeout. And all you hear, we in Denver, and all you hear is the crowd going crazy. Crazy. Some booing. It's just it's. Some go crazy. Yeah. He come in. 
he wins the game. <laughs> that was like the most incredible shit I've ever seen. I'm like, how the fuck did he come off a plane with his uniform already, sneak aside, <laughs> er like everything, and come in and win the basketball game for him. So that was That's one thing I watched. Like always, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you in the next video.